Welcome to our first demo of Cognos 10. You'll notice from our welcome screen that we've got a couple of new icons. First we've got Create My Dashboards in the upper right. This is a new tool called Business Insight which we'll be reviewing in this demo. Business Insight effectively replaces Go Dashboards. It's an ad hoc dashboard tool that allows you to drag and drop from existing reports onto a freeform dashboard screen. So let's go into that product and see what it looks like. You can see from our welcome screen to Business Insight that we've got a splash screen with some uh, customization details, some how-to videos. You can add dashboards to your favorites once within and you'll see them in the lower left area. You can open an existing dashboard or you can create a new one which we'll do here. So when we create the new dashboard you can see that there are instructions to drag and drop from the right to the drop pane. This is known as our canvas, just like you would see in Report Studio, Query Studio, or Analysis Studio. So I'm going to expand public folders and navigate to some reports that I know have existing data within them. I'll go into Go Sales Analysis and I'm going to choose from my Report Studio report samples my cell summary report. And you see that I can tell that there are multiple charts on the report as well as some lists. As I drag, you're going to see a loading window, and you're going to notice that these are loading in a different format than they were originally built, since this is not HTML. So let me do that for a few more charts, and you're going to begin to see that our charts are very similar. I'm going to resize this one as well, and you see it's just drag to resize as we see fit. And I'll drag a couple more onto the page and resize them as well. So once I have my page layout how I like it, I can begin changing the format of these. I've got a couple of options. If I click on one, you'll see a list of options at the top where I can change display type, change color palette, or add a comment. So I'm going to go and change my display type on each of these. I'll make the first one a bar chart. On the next one, instead of clicking at the top, I'm going to right click so you can see that we have that same option on our right click menu and I'll make this one a pie chart. I'll leave Central Europe as a column chart and I'll change our final one to a line chart. So we've essentially added each of these elements to the page where we'd like them. You notice I'm not exactly perfect whenever I drag these in, that they're not uh, entirely lined up. So what I'm going to do for my layout and style, I'm going to choose uh, fit all widgets to the, to the window. So there's an animation element to this environment. Let me show you in my upper right chart. If I click on it and I choose from my widget actions to refresh it, you're going to see that my pie kind of scrolls into existence. So as you can see, that these are flash based, so they will refresh upon resizing or if you choose the refresh icon at the top. So you can see that these all fit to the page now. Uh, we can change our formatting, so we can kind of standardize the look and feel of these, which I'll do just by changing my color palette to classic. And you see as they refresh that they do scroll into existence as you would hope to see them do in an uh, Adobe-based environment. So let me now save this dashboard. I'm going to put it into my folders, and I'm just going to call it BSP Dashboard. So after saving, what we're able to do now is add comments to these reports. So you see in North America we've got steady sales growth over the last few quarters. If I click on this report, I can choose comments and then add a comment. It brings up a dialog box where I can enter my own comment and I'll just say numbers look great. Now anyone who sees this report can then hover over that comment and read what I've typed. So I'll save my report once more and we'll leave the Go Dashboard environment to return to our home page.
So back on my home page, if I now go to my Cognos content area and the My Folders tab, you can see that we've got our BSP dashboard. We can now use this dashboard to add to our portal page, to open it, or to share with our friends. So essentially, Business Insight replaces Go dashboards. It adds some extra functionality. It adds a little bit easier to use of an interface. And it's meant to replace the need for IT to develop dashboards for the end users. It puts the power into the end user's hand to create their own dashboards based on existing reports.